Hello, my name is Deandra Perkins, and this is my presentation on human overpopulation and the effects on space size. The human population on Earth has increased greatly over the last 70 years or so. According to the United States Census Bureau, we're currently standing at about 7.7 .7 billion inhabitants, plus or minus. So my question is, how much more can the Earth take, or as scientists like to call it, what's the Earth's carrying capacity and the effects on space size? One of the environmental effects is deforestation. The need for urbanization, croplands, and mining to provide resources and a means of living for inhabitants is a revolving issue. Also, livestock currently account for about 30% of the global land. The irony is livestock is needed to feed the human population, but it also utilizes, overutilizes water supply and greenhouse gases. Another reason overpopulation affects space size and the environment is the increased demand for resources such as food, water, and fossil fuels faster than the rate of generation, regeneration by nature itself. So overpopulation essentially leads to overconsumption and increased pollution. The Global Footprint Network estimates today that humanity uses the equivalent of 1.5 planets just to provide the resources we use and absorb our waste. Here are graphs of the world population and the resources that we're currently seeing on a high rise such as carbon dioxide, fresh water use, fertilizer consumption, marine fresh capture, and tropical forest loss. Forced migration is another effect of world of the that the world is facing overpopulation. 80% 80 80 of the world's inhabitants reside in underdeveloped countries. As the population is unevenly distributed between developed countries and under underdeveloped countries, the birth rate in these countries are drastically higher due to poverty and the lack of information and contra contraceptives. This causes a strain on resources such as food, water, and housing, and can lead to wars with neighboring countries, resulting in people seeking refuge and migrating for survival. Some solutions to human overpopulation would be to limit the average birth rate per year per family. This can be done with government mandates and policies such as China's one child policy. It was an effective policy as geography.com mentions that China saw a decrease in population by 300 million, but it also can be very controversial um, and violate human rights. Another solution would be for people to consume only out of necessity. We can make resources last a lot longer, and this would mean rationing and implementing daily changes to our lives, such as meat consumption, water waste, recycling, and pollution. Lastly, evidence shows that birth rates in underdeveloped countries decline when they are provided access to sexually and reproductive health care, education for boys and girls beyond the primary level, and women are empowered to participate in social and political life. So in all, the United Nations estimates that world population will reach about 9.2 billion by 2050. This could affect our children and grandchildren. However, not all proposed solutions such as regulating women's reproductive systems is humane enough to resolve the problem at hand. We can commit to making a conscious effort to be mindful of our own individual footprints, such as the family sizes we choose to have, the use of resources and living, living minimally, as well as supporting basic human rights, Therefore, nobody goes hungry or in need. Thank you.